And welcome to release 8 of Google Play services. Look at this little fellow, resting and getting ready for that big event later this fall. In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to do in Google Play services to be ready for that event. We'll also have some other big announcements. And we'll have some fun as well. So see you in the studio. You're so cute! Welcome to release 8 of Google Play services. You are here because you want to build better apps. And that's exactly what you will do when you use Google Play services. Let's look at the highlights of this release, starting it off with... That's right, we got a new API. Let's welcome the Play Games Player Stats API with a round of applause. Data, data, data. We all love data. It helps us understand the world and make informed decisions. And you, game developers, data gives you insights into what your players are doing. But wouldn't it be nice to take action on those insights right there in your game? That's what the Player Stats API is all about. Because the Player Stats API will automatically categorize your players according to three segments. How much they spend in your game, their engagement, and their progression in their game. This allows you to take real-time action when it matters the most. For example, you can give gifts and free upgrades to the players that spend the most money in your game. And for highly engaged players, you could give them stuff as a reward for recruiting new players. And for players that get stuck and can't make any progress, you should really give them a hand and provide a hint. So start turning all of this information that it gives you to actions. Because this is not only valuable to you as the developers, it's also a great thing for your players. And now over to the nearby messaging API that was introduced in the last release. You know the one that allows nearby devices to exchange messages. And it's also used by beacons to send information to nearby devices. And that can use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth signals to connect and exchange data. But even cooler than that, since it's also using the device speakers to transmit high frequency sounds, sounds we humans cannot hear. You know, the sounds used for navigation and communication by bats. Yeah, that's how cool the nearby messaging API is. And in this release, we've made it even cooler by allowing your app to be notified about important events. For example, the Nearby Messages API uses a publish and subscribe architecture, and now you can be notified if a publication or subscription times out. And you can also get notified if Nearby is enabled or disabled for your app. So great new features for you to use with the Nearby Messaging API. And remember the newly launched App Invites API? You know the one that allows your users to invite and engage their friends to also use your app. Well, in this release, it's now possible to put a custom image on the invite, so it looks more relevant and engaging. And now, back to where we started. Let's talk about Android Marshmallow. As you may know, Marshmallow introduces a dynamic permissions model where the app asks the user for permission to do something the first time it requires it. So as a developer, you need to request permissions before your code calls anything that uses them. So it's extra important to catch connection failures and initiate a resolution for failures. Should the user revoke permissions from Google Play services, then the resolution user flow could fix this. Be sure to check out the samples for details. And that's it for the M stuff. These are really, really good. Do you know how much sugar those contain? No. 60%! Good golly! Sugar Rush! And that's it for this release of Google Play services. But be sure to check out these resources as well. Now it's your turn to build better apps using Google Play services. So go out there and create some great apps. And don't forget to tell us all about it. Bye.